Howdy everybody. I'm back. It's your pal Misty. So I'm way off of my filming schedule. I am normally a day ahead and now I'm on the day of. So for the last, was it actually the last two videos or just, I don't know. Anyway, over the last few days I've had mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A, which was not my favorite. And then the Impossible Whopper and the Whopper from Burger King, which is also not my favorite. Those are two restaurants that I don't like. So today I thought I'd try something new from a restaurant that might not be my favorite, but that I don't dislike. And that's Taco Bell. Because when I went to Burger King yesterday, I saw that they had a triple double crunch wrap. And... I feel like I've heard that before, so maybe it's like a new again kind of thing. But something interesting about me is I have never once in my life had a crunch wrap. I've never gotten one. I've just never even tried it. So people know that I diss their tacos, and I do, because if I could get a taco somewhere else, like Taco Bueno, Taco Casa, Dairy Queen, I would. Taco Cabana, even over their tacos. But. Will I eat their tacos? Sure, I'll eat them. They're fine. It's just I prefer more, less mushy meat in tacos. But I figured on something like this, it would be really good. Evidently, it's supposed to have a layer of beef and then I think a tostada and then beef and then a tostada and then lettuce, tomatoes, and sour cream. But of course, I took off the tomatoes. So the Crunchwrap itself was three, we just kind of jumped right into this. I don't think I said anything that I'm supposed to say in a greeting. Sit back, relax, enjoy, all that good stuff. Um, so the Crunchwrap was $3.49, and then I saw that they had a box for $5. And in the box, you got a drink. So I got me a little Diet Mountain Dew. And then here's the box. You get a taco. Oh, and you get <clears throat> mild sauce. I'll get mild sauce because it's my favorite flavor. But you get, can't really see, but you get a taco and a thing of these little cinnamon twist things. So you get a bag of those, a crunchy taco, and a crunch wrap for $5.00. Or you can just get the crunch wrap for $3.50. So it seemed like getting each of those items for only 50 cents more made more of uh made more sense to me. And that way I'll have lunch and dinner. So this is the crunch wrap. Oh, and the reason that I decided not to take y'all through the drive-thru was because one I don't trust this uh mount thing that I have going here and two takes too long and I wanted to give you all a quicker video today so here's the crunch wrap it's definitely wrapped and grilled got a good grill on it so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take bites and and hope that I finally picked one that I can review that I'm going to enjoy. It has shredded lettuce though, so we'll have to see, but let's let's dig into it. I'm trying to see in it. You can see. It's got the two tostadas are like right on top of each other. So, is there, yeah, no, there is a layer of meat in between the tostadas. So it is meat, tostada, meat, tostada, lettuce, sour cream no tomatoes this is delicious <laughs> is that nacho cheese 
It may also have nacho cheese. Hmm. So, first thoughts are, it's not crunchy at all. I can see the tostadas. But, the only thing that's crunchy about that is the lettuce. <clears throat> I'm not always the biggest fan of sour cream because for whatever reason it's normally all on one end or all on the other and not throughout and so you get no sour cream, no sour cream, no sour cream, all the sour cream. I don't like that. So I normally go without it but again I'm trying to get them as close to the way they're, they're sold and like I said I wasn't too worried. I'm kind of glad that this has lettuce on it. Evidently, it's got a nacho cheese on it, too. I like their nacho cheese. So. Mm. It doesn't even need sauce. In fact, I think the sauce would be kind of hard to put on it. <clears throat> the tortilla is falling apart a little bit. And it's so soft, it's just almost molding to my hand. I have to be careful. There's a lot of sour cream there in the middle now. See? I'm going to see it any better. Nacho cheese. Two layers of Toast daughter, two layers of meat. It's a lot of food. It's got to be a bunch of calories. Because I'm already kind of getting full. I feel like I need a nap. <sighs> and I'm congested. Just a little bit. I apologize. So, maybe not quite as entertaining for y'all. But I ate a double, triple layer. Why is it? Well, it has to be out. Oh, it's three layers, two of which are beef. So it's like a double beef, triple layer crunch wrap supreme. Would I buy that again? Oh, it's hard to say actually. Um,. I would say yes, but I've never had a regular crunch wrap, so it could be that it's because of the double meat. It has a lot of flavor from the meat, and their meat is flavorful. Not my favorite in tacos, but in burritos and things like that, it's great. So for this, it's a great way to do this setup. <coughs> Excuse me. I like a beefy five layer burrito. That's one of my favorite things that they do, but I hate it when they get the sour cream wrong. So sometimes I go, no sour cream. Or I open it and make sure it's more spread out evenly, which may be weird, but I like I like to like my food. And I felt like for the last few days, I didn't really get to do that. And so I wanted to do one that I knew I would like the flavors of and was pretty sure I would enjoy overall. But if not... I got the taco and the cinnamon chips to go with it just in case um but so far so so good i did finish the impossible whopper and i shared the whopper a little bit with barnum because i felt bad about sharing the fake meat one with him but uh, uh, after i took off the lettuce the tomato no the lettuce the onions the pickles i do have to say the flavor of the flame world was just so overwhelmingly powerful that I, I did not enjoy it. 
but I didn't want to waste the food. And again, I think the Impossible Whopper, I think the Impossible Meat would be delicious done in a different way. I just don't like flame broiled. So, that's my update on that. It made the Whopper taste better <laughs> because it didn't have as much flavor. But it was funny, I was watching a few reviews last night and a lot of people really liked it because of that flavor. They're like, it's such a better flavor than the Whopper. And I could see if you like flame broiled where that would be true, but I don't, so I kind of hated it. Loki hated it. it Y'all could tell from my face, that wasn't delicious. <clears throat> Let's have a cinnamon thing for dessert. Hmm. I haven't, I haven't had those in a long time. Sorry, it's not disgusting, but the, the texture was weird. I remember them being more melty. That was a little almost stale crunchy. Not that they were stale, but it had more of that. Just not what I remembered. They were still good, not very flavorful. Uh, hardly any cinnamon and sugar that could you could do better Taco Bell. I've had better of those from you. I don't know if you've changed the recipe recently or not, but I was a little bit more excited about that cinnamon thing and then was kind of disappointed. I prefer the crunch wrap to those. So that's my thoughts for today. This will be a little bit shorter of a video and like the video if you haven't already, comment down below what your favorite thing is from Taco Bell, or if you've had a crunch wrap or the tr double, triple crunch wrap, triple double crunch wrap, double triple crunch wrap. I don't remember what it's called, <clears throat> but have you had one of those? Do you want one of those? Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you know how. Hit that little bell notification so that you'll know when I have new videos coming out, and I will see y'all real soon.